What's going on guys, it's Ben here from BH Aquatics. What you're looking at right now are some of the new strains of guppies that I have in my uh, fish room. Basically, if you guys have not seen the video uh, where I do get new strains of guppies, most of them are half black pastels. You can take a look at that in my channel. Um, although they are all half black pastels, they are different shades of the pastel, different colors. There's like the white pastel color, the cream pastel color, different things like that. There's even like a blue and like a reds. Most people would call them um, half black blues, half black greens, but they do have that kind of creamy pastel appeal to them. So that's why they would still be considered half black pastels, even though they do have a little bit of a tint of different colors other than uh, the regular half black pastels you might see in different shows and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, there's three fry in there, one male in the back that's actually a juvenile male because I did lose the original male that came with the breeding group. There were three females in the breeding group, one male, one of the females did die, the other male did as well, but luckily enough, I had a nice sized male uh, fry that was swimming around the bottom um, that did not get eaten or anything like that and is still surviving so I could have some potentially good breeding out of these two remaining females and uh, these females that are swimming around here although I do think that top one there um, is a male as well uh, there are two other females fry like this one here um, swimming around that I could potentially get some good breeding out of the future um, so yeah let's move on to the next group Alrighty, Ben, so there's more than one group of half black pastels in this aquarium. You guys are right. And the reason behind that is because the tank right next door got a little cloudy due to some corridor breeding that was going on. You can see the corridors down in the bottom corner. So I decided to let the corridors do what they do. They uh, actually secrete this um, stuff off their skin. Um, that will make water cloudier and that potentially could kill off your fish. That's at least, at least that's what happened last time when I had too many corridors breeding in one tank uh, with a bunch of fry. The water got so cloudy and I had no idea why because of the, the uh, stuff that the corridors secrete off their skin. Um, it, it ended up killing a bunch of the fry so uh, I got kind of set behind and that's actually the real reason why I needed more uh, breeding groups because I lost them all on that big kind of Corydora mistake there. Um, so to keep the other trio from at, being at risk, from also being exposed to the uh, secretion that the Corydoras do when they breed, um, I moved them in with my third trio of half black pastels in this tank. So there are currently two males, three females. They are both trios are from completely different lines, uh, though you will notice in the tank throughout every once in a while you will see some fry swimming around, so there is successful breeding going on in here even though that they are completely different lines, they, un they, are, uh, they do not affect each other um, in bad ways, so uh, I should be getting more intense breeding, a lot more breeding more often in this tank just because uh, there are more males and more females to get into breeding activity. So I'm excited for that. I think that will really turn this tank around. This breeder box that's on the side here, like I said, that was the last mistake that I had where I came out with a video that I called it something like big mistake. I lost all the fry. So unfortunately I'm starting from square one once again with the different trios that are all in my tanks. Now, something I will say is that the reason why these fry right here, if you can follow my finger and you can see I'm swimming around, the reason why they're just swimming freely in the tank rather than uh, being in breeder boxes is simply because I decided after that big mistake with the breeder box, the breeder boxes, I'm not always gonna be able to check on them just because I have my own chores and different things that I gotta do, so I'm going to, uh, go and make some like yarn mops and put them throughout the aquarium so that uh, these fish can uh, they can reproduce in the aquarium have their fry the fry can swim around and hide in the mops as they get older and grow and uh, feed on the mulm and different things like that so uh, I think that that will work just as well as the breeder box is probably even better just because I won't have to monitor them nearly as much as I used to Alright, so let's just talk Corydoras real quickly. As you guys know, this tank right here is my Palaeotis breeding group Corridor. You can see one swimming down, two swimming down there in the bottom corner. Um, it, all is doing well here. 
I have not really got on top of like the eggs. They've laid tons and tons of eggs and they have been fertilized, but I just haven't really done it right with the whole breeder box, what I'm supposed to do. I haven't caught the eggs at the right time. I get them like a couple days late and they're already like torn apart or eaten or something like that. So I gotta get on that because in the tank right below it, I'm gonna be breeding um, some more uh, different types of corridors. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna breed. Um, this one right next to it, I have a breeding pair of emerald corridors that are gonna be going in there. And right here, you can see another palatus down there, also known as salt and pepper corridors. Those are also gonna be bred in here. Now the 55, as you guys know, I'm going to be putting in a huge breeding group of Sturbi Corridors. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. Um, so on that note, uh, just a real quick update on how the Corridors are going. And uh, just want to show you guys how my uh, breeding trios of the new guppy strains I got are doing and how their fry look and what they're doing as well. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. Um, before I end though, I'd like to say if you guys are going to the NEC next weekend, I am as well. I'd love to meet as many people in the fish hobby as possible just because, um, <coughs> excuse me, because I'm going to, uh, I'm always willing to gain more experiences and more contacts with people who love fish as much as I do. Um, if you guys are going to be there, I'm going to be at the New England Fancy Guppies Association table. Um, so, yeah, come check it out. It's it's really awesome. Giving away information for our club. Um, so, aside from that plug, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, like, subscribe my channel, and I'll see you guys at the NEC. Other than that, I'll see you guys Sunday in Sunday's video.